Test one, two, three. So, Mr. Clark. Not that I would ever try and talk anyone out of an acoustic sauna. I dig them, but I'll give you some food for thought on the whole modeling front. Um, I'm assuming when you talk about making your guitar sound like other instruments, you mean other guitars, not all kinds of strange stuff. Um, show you something. acoustic pack in the acoustic studio which is on the stomp and you can see I'm just selecting different pickups rain song fiber guitar, fairly rare, fairly small, but here how it sings. So what's the deal with this? These are all SIM1 profiles, which is a little tiny box. Um, you can see it over there. And that would be kind of like a Kemper, and I think that's the, the forefront of modeling making one guitar sound like another. What I'm driving it with, of course, is a Variax. And what I would suggest for you, Acoustasonic is great in that it's six guitars and you can blend between two of them and it's a lot of sound, a lot of extra pickups, a lot of great performance stuff, but it's still six. This is 60. Call it less than that, but what I would recommend this for is the fact that if you have a Helix, all of these little commands here, your turn wheels, your other bits and pieces, those can all drive your Helix really well. You shouldn't think of this as being limited to the sounds of the Variax. It can certainly produce things, but there are other ways, as you mentioned before. Um, blend of ones ones, for instance. If I can find them. Find them here. Change the volume and tone here. Switch guitars. This is what we never talk about with Variax. All these things can be saved in your preset. So, say you have a sweet spot where your tone knob is exactly how you want it, volume knob is exactly how you want it. You can save that over there on the Helix. And it will always be like that when you come back to it. So you're not adjusting and messing with stuff on the fly. An acoustic Martin. Collins. And for me, what you're really going for when you're modeling is the differences between one guitar 
and the next. It doesn't matter if you land 100% on the guitar, because no two guitars are ever going to sound like the same. You just want a really wide palette. And it's got to be said. What the Variax will give you as a guitar is total control and a total integrated approach. On top of that, you can, like I've done with these Sim 1 things, go through and select any guitar you like. So you have the option to profile a guitar, which is fantastic. For instance, this Duesenberg. You can get pretty well much the same thing out of the Variax. be a bit of a pain. This is exactly the same guitar, modeled Slow, put in here. So. Well, let's see this. There's all kinds of choices. If you've got a budget to go out and get an acoustic sonic, your Sim 1 sonics around, I think it's five, six hundred. So, sort of like a mid range guitar, lower mid range guitar, and you get 99 guitars in one dynamic range and all the rest of it, that is for me the ultimate right now. And you can put any guitar in there you want. The sound is fantastic. So, I would urge you before you go out and get something, do some like serious research or if you want to know more about Differences between, say, a Sim 1, which is going to cost you bucks, Glenn's pack, if you just want acoustic stuff, I think that's like 20 bucks. And that is fantastic for, for what it is. I mean, that runs on the Helix, you can run that with any guitar. the deal dude um i would say for sure you know um if you look at it from the point of view of getting the absolute most out of one guitar if you want to stick with one guitar having all those controls right here in your hand i think is the biggest key because the sounds you can dial in wherever you want if you don't dig the sound you get out of it stay in Plain old fashioned, you know, magnetic modeling, and use another thing to do the modeling bit. But you know, the other thing this will do is, of course, it will change tunings. It talks perfectly with the helix. It's sort of a, a no-brainer for getting as many sounds as you can possibly imagine and you can always augment it's never a, a question of should I get one or the other get get what works so I hope that's helpful if you have any questions give me a buzz man I'll be more than happy to talk you through it 
And to drive it, you don't need to devise anything crazy like that. You can just stick some clicks on your guitar. Go that way, you can have a foot pedal, you can go that way. You know, it's a very modular approach. Perhaps a bit more setting up in the beginning, but beyond that, start to end. Yeah.